law. The derivation of the Newton's second law. What I said? F, the external force is directly proportional to the rate of change of momentum. Then what we can write? F proportional dp by dt. Next. Then what I can write? Okay. Next. If I remove the proportional constant, then what we can write? Tell me here. F is equal to k into dp by dt where k is constant so k is the constant p is the momentum f is the external force okay first i will tell i would like to tell about the what is the p okay p in general what i said momentum what is the momentum definition already you know okay when you can say one object is movement movement means it is moving from one place to another place then we can say that is momentum okay now i am defining the momentum okay this is so let us take this is one particle what i mean now it is at rest position so after some time what i mean it is moves it will go like this then what happen definitely this particle suppose if you consider any object that definitely it has some mass okay so if some mass is there now this particle has mass but is there any velocity there is no velocity okay after some time what happens simply it is moving when if you apply some force then it acquires some velocity then what we can define momentum the mm, Okay, what is the formula for momentum? Momentum is denoted by the small v. Momentum p is equal to mass into velocity. Then what we can write? P is equal to mv. Okay, let us consider this is the equation number 1. Okay, now you understood. The momentum means mass into velocity. Then this is the equation number 2. Okay, now I am going to substitute the uh, equation 2 in 1. Substitute the equation 2 in 1 what is the equation 2 p is equal to mv what is the equation 1 f is equal to k into dp by dt okay then what happen f is equal to k into d by dt okay p is equal to how much is there mv is there okay already you know let us take d by dx is equal to 2 uh, x square like that 2x is there then what we can add simply 2 is the constant let us take 2x square is there what is happen 2 will write outside then d by dx is equal to x square then what happen 2 into what happen here 2x dx by like d, dt is there like that we can take the differentiation formula so so same thing here also happen f is equal to k into m dv by dt okay next to already you know about that d, what is the dv by dt so uh, before uh, af, uh, after after before start before uh, started for, uh, first law i said about this what is the v v means velocity there will be exist two velocities one is final velocity and one is initial velocity so now i am going to tell about that v what is the v means velocity what is the formula velocity you know very well velocity is equal to distance by time next so what is there here velocity distance by time is there but here not there so how we, which form is there dv by dt is there so what we can write then so a is equal to acceleration what is the acceleration we will see first acceleration means change in velocity by time the velocity will be changed from um, one um, velocity to another velocity that may be initial velocity that may be final velocity okay now we'll see acceleration a is equal to v by t or else what we can say a is equal to delta v by delta t or else dv by dt what we can say simply this is v final minus v initial by t2 minus t1 then what we can write simply delta v by delta t or else dv by dt that is which equal to a equal to so in this place dv by dt means 
the change in velocity with respect to time in this place dv by dt then what i can write in this place so here i can substitute so or else you can write a is equal to dv by dt this is the equation number three okay or else you can take this is the equation number four this you can take equation number three okay substitute equation 4 in 3 then what happen f is equal to km in the place of dv by dt how much i can write a i can write okay this is our final formula okay what is there here k is there actually k should not be there then in that case if f is equal to 1 next m is equal to 1 next a is equal to 1 then k is equal to how much now i am going to substitute 1 k 1 1 then what happened k is equal to 1 this is the equation number 5 this is the equation number 6 next substitute the equation 6 in Five. Then what I have been? F is equal to how much is there? One into m a. Then what I have been? One into m a m a. Okay. This is the Newton second law. What is that formula? F is equal to m a. So what we can say? The external force. Which force? This is external force. So external force is mass into acceleration. Then we are calling this is the Newton second law based on the Newton second law there are many examples many uh, examples are many um, systems are working there are many uh, there are use applications are there in the Newton's second law so what we got finally f external is equal to m a where m is the mass a is the acceleration okay next so if any physical quantity will be there in the physics there are many physical quantities will be exist so like area is one type of physical quantity volume is one type of physical quantity next density is one type of physical quantity momentum is one type of physical quantities next force also in when you comes to the force also force also we can say one type of similar quantities in the physics there are two fundamental quantities we exist one is fundamental quantity another one is independent quantity okay next now we are going to so what we got finally we got the f is equal to m a this is the newton second law okay for this i said already we are having uh, different different physical quantities derived quantities will be there direct quantity independent quantities or derived quantities two quantities will be exist one quantities won't depend upon other quantities one is depend upon another quantities let us take which one is dependent which one is not dependent quantities okay let us take area what is the formula length into breadth so another one will be there let us take l length mass time these are independent quantities so let us take area what is the formula length breadth so what i have here this length also belongs to l only breadth also belongs to l only why because we are measuring in the meters or lengths only then we can say this is the dependent quantities or derived quantities okay like this density is there density density also depend mass by volume so i got the mass from this every whichever quantity you taken from this independent quantity then we can say this that is the which quantities are taken from which quantities are take and if you got then we can say that is the derived quantities similarly the force also we can say that is also derived quantity okay in the uh, suppose next what i consider uh, i consider one particle on the particle uh, the particle has some mass then it is moving some uh, velocity uh, so it is changing in velocity then we can that is the acceleration the product of mass into acceleration we are calling that is the force 